Welcome to this NX help tip. This help tip covers animating a CAD model using a combination of an expression variable called frame number in conjunction with the animate command. In this example, we wish our animated but stilted adventurer to walk on the moon. By combining expression values and the animate command, any model can be animated and movies produced. In this case we are animating an assembly by modifying the assembly constraint expression values. Add the constraints as you would for any assembly. A tip within a tip. When an angle constraint is added, orientate angle as the best subtype if the angle is to exceed 180 degrees. It is a good idea to name the variables. Here orientate arm left is set to zero. Expressions have been added for each arm and leg joint. An expression frame number is created with a type of constant. Frame number is spelt with a capital F and end and is a single word. As this value will be used in a number of expressions, shorten the expression name by equating new expression fn equal to frame number. To test the values, orient arm left variable is made equal to fn times 5. With the animation command, a new animation called Annie1 with a keyframe trajectory is created. An end frame that matches frame 0 is added with 36 steps. Under parameters, we tell the system to update expressions and to use the hardware render. Now for some maths. For each step in the animation, the expression frame number will be indexed by 1. There are 36 steps and the arm will move 5 degrees for each step which gives us a total of 180 degrees. Now we can preview the animation. Next the expression editor is used to modify the expression so the arm will now move up 90 degrees and then move back. Preview to test the animation. To get our spaceman to walk, a combination of expressions are created. The number of animation steps had doubled to 72. The final animation is now previewed. Thanks for watching this NX tip. For information on NX and Teams Enterprise products, please contact us at Phoenix PLM.